Hi, this is Nikki Woods, and we're going beyond the studio with Mario. You no, know, this is a comfortable place for me because I'm so <laughs> used to flying. You expect peanuts like to come by any second, don't you? Yeah, you look peanuts. Like a stewardess. Yeah. Yeah, these are actually actually airplane seats from American Airlines when Tom used to fly back and forth. Yeah, I was like, I'm, these chairs look mighty uh, familiar. <laughs> I'm like, Tom, I know he's not hijacking <laughs> planes now, is he? <laughs> <laughs> no, he is not. But we want to talk about your latest project. Yes, yes. DNA. Yes. When does it actually drop? Uh, October 13th. October 13th. It was the, the only, it's been pitched back once, so this is the final this date for This is the final, for final. Of, for those of my fans out there who's been waiting for so long for the album, October 13th. And you can also go to um, my website and pre-order it. It's mario2u.com. Now, how long yeah. has it been between the last album and this album? A year and six months, I want to well, say. That's that bad. You were acting like Maxwell. Like, it's been like eight years. Nah, now, it's been no, a year and no. I, I, can't, I can't imagine leaving my fans for that long. But, you know, I mean, Maxwell, man, he's, he's, he's so incredible. Like, he came back, you know, with great music, an incredible album. So, you know. So what um, what happened in that year and a half since the last album and now this album? What what's um, different about you? What's different about me? Um, and well, everything is just what, what, like what? just uh, responsibilities what? and um, you a grown me, man. I, I, that I am. <laughs> I'm twenty. I'm a th twenty three year old grown man, wow. young man, but grown. And you started at fourteen. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. long time. Yeah, I, in I, the business. I, I feel like the Kobe of the the new R and B generation. Wow. You know? Yes. <coughs> but you know it's been it, it's it's been interesting growing up in front of in front of the world and 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 continuing to show the world that I am I'm not a kid anymore you know and the only way to really do that is through music and you know through um I think the the things like what we're doing now and interviews and and really just reaching out to people and showing them that you connect with them on different levels you know so so tell so me if you ask the right questions it can show my growth <laughs> so this I'm putting this on I'm putting this one on you <laughs> My experience as an interviewer. So tell me about <laughs> tell me, and we'll get we're gonna get back to that. But tell me about the experience um, of writing this album and working on this mm -hmm. album because that came from some real grown up experiences Everything, too. Everything, absolutely. Um, I work with um, like really a lot. Of, I want I, I call them friends, you know, because the people that I've always wanted to work with, like Babyface and um, Stargate, you know, Sean Gary is like a, a, a he's a he's a, he's a new writer, but he's su such an incredible writer. And just in a couple of years, he's made a a stamp in music. And we build a great relationship to the point where as though we can have one conversation and then three album, three songs come out of that, you know, and it's just, you know, us talking about life and just, um, you know, I shared a lot of personal stories on this album pretty much, you know. DNA is really the makeup of me. It's not just a, 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 a creative title. It's just, it's really what I wanted my fans to feel when they when so they did you come it. up with the title of the album first, or was the album done? And you're like, okay, was, this is me. The album was pretty much done. I hadn't had everything mixed yet, but the album was pretty much done. And um, at first, I had a different title. The title was, and then there was me. I like DNA better. Yeah, it was, and then there was me. But that was Easier that came from a spiritual conversation I had with my mother. From us conversing, that was that was a whole nother. Maybe that's my best. Maybe that's maybe my, that that's my book. Oh, that's, that's, book. that's that's my book, maybe. So and you want to? Do you really want to write a book? Absolutely, I have. I've been through a lot of things at such a young age that I feel like a lot of other young people go through, but don't really talk about it, or there's not light that's shed on it. Um, from in being in the industry and just in my personal life in general. Yeah, so. that was gonna, what I was going to ask you. Is it, yeah. is it because you were in the industry so young? Is it things that happen to people in the entertainment business, or just it's, it's a just mixture life? of both? You know, you know, um, things that I've been through in the industry, like switching through. Um, having start with one team and, and transition into a whole mm -hmm. nother team throughout my career and, you know, how that affected me personally, you know, business-wise and how I overcame the obstacles alone, you know what I'm saying, within the industry and how it, it made me stronger more than anything. Okay. It made me stronger. So is what is one piece of advice then that you would give based on what you've been through to, to people industry? coming? Um, Not necessarily in the industry. I, I in would life. say in life, man... I think that one of the things that keeps me loving what I do is just wanting to be a legend. You know, wanting to uh, to be here when my fans are retiring and they, they still like to buy music. I want them to buy my music. You know, retiring um, from the industry is something I would like to do when I'm 50, 40 years old. You know, it's That's a like long I love, time. but I love it that much though. Right. You know, it's like, like I. I want you to be able to go and listen to my album and say, like, this 
this young man can really sing. Like this young man has real talent. Did you just put me in the really old category? No, I didn't. But <laughs> when we were talking earlier about music, <laughs> and we were talking about who you who who you who you who you who you enjoy from the day, my name didn't come up. So well, I felt some type of way about that. You were sitting right in front of me. So, yeah, but you <laughs> was that why you kept asking question yeah. after question <laughs> after question? Like, what do I need to do? Sing. Um, what do I what do I need to sing for you right now? Just. <laughs> I, I gotta win her over right now. You have. What well, do I need that to sing? Cool. Helped. <laughs> you coaching him over there? What does he need Hold to on. sing? A chair is still a chair, even when there's no one sitting there. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna get into the whole whole song now. You know, we, no, we that was trust me. That was enough. We're there. We're there. I forgot my next question. Oh, that's a good thing. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so what's next for you? Because I know we talked earlier about like Dancing with the Stars and mm -hmm. some other projects that you've been involved in. What's next for me is um, continuing to tour, man. I, I, I think that there's a lot of fans that I haven't touched yet around the world. Um, there's places that I haven't been to perform my music. Um, there's stories that I haven't shared yet that I still have to share through music. And there's a story I still have to tell. You know, being a young man and in this generation, like there's a lot of stories that I feel like need to be told through music that can still be listened to years from now. That's important. But so my my the con I'm basically saying the concept of my songs will change as I put music out. I don't think my next album will have the same feeling that this album has. But do you want to stick just to music, or do you want to no, venture well, out into other things like acting and films? Are incredible. I mean, when you had the opportunity to do it, and you, um, you you know. You you get the roles, you know, and you and, and you're prepared for them. It's incredible. I think that I do have the acting bug. It's something that I want to do. Um, that right film hasn't come along just mm -hmm. yet. Like have the you one been that kind of broke. Yeah, I have a few scripts. Some that I like, some that I don't like. I get more scripts that I don't like more than I do, mm -hmm. and it's not always. It's like you know, just like in music. Sometimes you do songs that you love, and sometimes you do songs you like. But uh, just that right one, like you know, the one that allows me to show my acting skills and when you look at the film like you don't you're not looking at Mario like you're looking at whatever that character is so that that that's the one I'm I'm waiting for right so now so you don't want to just play like an R&B singer nah. or yeah. unless is the story <laughs> of Marvin Gaye is oh, the story yeah. of you know somebody incredible that I admire you know and um I'm able to have a a a, a, a huge part in it so tell us one thing about you that that your fans don't know. Um, I, I leave the stove on after I cook sometimes, and I forget to turn the stove off. I don't we know. We don't need to visit <laughs> your house. No, of course <laughs> you should. The food would be great. Um, no, I you, you know die I die later. <laughs> well, I'm uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I um, well, something I, that they don't know about me. Maybe some people don't know I have seven. Um, four sisters and three brothers. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, are, are you, you a fan? Baby? You're not a fan though. See, you're not. You're not. A, you're not a fan. You told me that. You earlier. determined, you're right? You just determined. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, are you the baby? No, I. I got uh four younger, well, three younger sisters, one older sister, um, and three younger brothers. Are so any I'm of like them following second in your to the footsteps? oldest. My brother plays drums. One of my sisters, she sings, um, and everybody else. Loves music, but not really into it for a living. But my brother, he actually plays on with me sometimes on the road. Oh, cool. He recently just started playing with me on the road. All right, well, we're going to end this before you call me out on anything else, okay? Okay. <laughs> we're going to end the interview. We're going to end the interview. <laughs> but you go keep, okay. And then, so the album is DNA, and it is yes. in stores October 13th. It is Mario and Nikki Woods on blackamericaweb.com. Yes, Black America Web, we out. <laughs>